<laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to the Daily Review, episode number 250 for Tuesday, November 17th, 2009. Won't you let me walk you home from school? 250 episodes. Thank you guys so much for watching, subscribing, rating, commenting, uh, messaging me. Whatever you guys have been doing, it's been great and I've had such a blast um, recording these reviews for you guys. I think I just passed the 400 subscribers mark, which is crazy to me that there are over 400 people out there that are logging onto their YouTube, seeing that I posted a video and possibly getting kind of excited. I don't know, maybe. Um, but thank you guys so much, just deep down, bottom of my heart, thank you. Um, the film I'm going to be reviewing for you guys today is, whoop, wow, sorry, phone. Um, but the film I'm going to be reviewing for you guys today is one that I've been pretty excited for. Um, it is Fantastic Mr. Fox. Uh, Fantastic Mr. Fox is written and directed by Wes Anderson. It's also co-written by Noah Baumbach, who... If you guys have not seen the film The Squid and the Whale, I implore you to go check that movie out because it is a phenomenal film, not only uh, as far as a movie goes, but uh, the performances from Jeff Daniels, Laura Linney, and uh, why can I not remember his name? Jesse Eisenberg. Incredible. You've seen Jesse Eisenberg in Adventureland, uh, most recently Zombieland. This is a film without the word land in the title, so <laughs> check this out. Um, Fantastic Mr. Fox features the voices of George Clooney, Meryl Streep, Jason Schwartzman, Bill Murray, Willem Dafoe, and Owen Wilson. And uh, it's the film that's adapted from the Roald Dahl children's story, and it's about uh, Mr. Fox, who, who realizes he wants something more out of life. He writes for this newspaper. He used to uh, steal chickens, I believe, um, or birds. And he kind of wants something more out of his life. He gets caught one day trying to steal... Um, from from one of the three main guys, I think it's Boggus, Bunce, and Bean, who are supposed to be one fat, one short, one lean, I believe is how the rhyme pattern goes. And these three guys basically set out to kill uh, Mr. Fox and his entire family. So, uh, of course, they hatch a plan and they try to, uh, you know, get out of it. Um, I'll, I'll say right off the bat that I am a pretty big Wes Anderson fan, I think. Um, I've seen all of his films. I've liked all of his films, some a little less than others, The Life of Aquatic, uh, namely. Uh, but, but there's a certain style to his filmmaking that I really love, and I think it's truly original, and I think it's unlike anything that American comedy filmmakers are doing nowadays. Um, and I applaud him always for that. And Fantastic Mr. Fox is no exception. Even though it is animated, um, it feels like a Wes Anderson film. I, th I think people... Like me, I was kind of scared that I was going to see this movie, and I'm like, is it still going to have that Wes Anderson vibe and flavor and the camera angles and that sort of stuff? It totally does, so fear not about that. Um, but I will say that I think Fantastic Mr. Fox is a pretty incredible film, and it's surprisingly incredible to me. Um, I, I saw this film, and I'm thinking, you know, this is going to be a, a fairly standard animated film, and it absolutely blew me away. Uh, the animation is, is a stop-motion kind of animation where they basically have these little figures that are like this big and, you know, they're moving them an inch at a time between takes so you can get the full movement going. And it takes incredibly long to shoot and I, I think this film was in production for like two and a half years or something? That's crazy and it looks astounding on screen. Um, there's a scene towards the end of the film where uh, Mr. Fox and his wife are talking and they're, they're in front of this waterfall and it looks absolutely breathtaking um, and, and aside from all this technical stuff um, it's, it's pretty funny and I think it's a really fun film I, I had, just like I reviewed Pirate Radio uh, yesterday I had a huge smile on my face the entire time throughout this film um, just, just a, a pure joy I think um, and on top of that I think this has been kind of the year for these children's films that have that have very dark tones to them. Um, Up has a very, very sentimental opening ten minutes uh, where if you don't cry you're pretty much not human. Uh, where the Wild Things Are has very dark tones and dark messages to them. And Fantastic Mr. Fox is a fairly dark film. I mean, it's about these three guys wanting to kill uh, Mr. Fox. They're not wanting to just capture them, they're wanting to kill them. Um, and I, I mean, there's a scene very early on, this isn't much of a spoiler, 
uh, where basically they shoot off Mr. Fox's tail, and you see the tail lying in the dirt with like the little bit of blood particles on it. And, and I, I, I kind of applaud that, that Wes Anderson's making this film and that, you know, Spike Jones made Where the Wild Things Are. And they have these dark tones that they think kids can handle because I think kids are ready for that sort of film and they can handle it. Um, as far as it being, you know, Wes Anderson's best, no. But uh, I think it's, it's an immensely fun film and I think you can see the amount of craftsmanship time and effort that, that goes into this. I think the voice acting across the board is very, very well done. Uh, George Clooney and Jason Schwartzman especially blew me away. Uh, there, there's also a guy, I don't know what his name is, it's Wally something, uh, who plays the opossum in the film. Very funny, uh, and his voice fits the character so perfectly. I loved almost everything about Fantastic Mr. Fox. My one minor, minor nitpick about the film is there's an ongoing joke involving the word cuss which basically every time uh, they would swear in the film, they say cuss. Like, are you cussing with me? The cuss you are. Stuff like that. Um, it's, it's kind of quirky and funny in the beginning, but by the end it gets a little old and stale after a while. Um, it's so minor that it doesn't even matter. I give Fantastic Mr. Fox a very, very strong 4.5 out of 5. One of my favorite movies of the year. I'm curious how my top 10 list is going to look this year. Um, how many animated movies I'm going to have on it. Anyways, thank you guys. Wow, I can't even talk. Thank you guys, though, very much for watching, and I'll be back tomorrow with another one for you.